Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical C shape. So first we will see the requirements. If you already watched my previous two tutorials that is how to print stars in alphabetical A shape and B shape then you must be knowing we need two for loops to print the stars in the rows and columns. That is in the output we can see different rows and columns right. So we need to write the stars in the different row and column. For that we are using two for loop. One is for row and another one is for column. And second we are using if else statements. That is we need a condition to print stars in particular pattern. For that we are using if else conditional statements. And we are using logical and and logical or operators. And in logical and if both the inputs are true then only output will be true otherwise it is false. In the logical or if both the input is false then only output is false otherwise it is true. Okay alright we will begin with the code now. So here I will start from the for loop. So for row in range 7 for Here in the output we can see row and column and here there are 7 rows are there and 5 columns are there. That's why I used range 7 and range 5. That means it will take range from 0 to 7 and 0 to 5. Okay. And here this row and columns are variables. So now inside this for loop I will use if conditional statement. And here we need to mention the condition to print star. So here we can see in which row and column stars are present. Here we can see the column 0 it contains stars. So I will check whether column is equal to equal to 0 then I want star. Okay. So next I will mention another condition that's why I mentioned or here if this condition or another condition any one of the condition is true it will print star. Okay, so or and uh, here column part is done. Now we will see the row and in the row 0 and 6 we can see the stars. Right, so we need to mention row 0 and 6. I will mention like this. I will check whether row is equal to equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to Six, okay the both the condition I want star but at that time I'll check column should be greater than zero and I'll put them together here in the if there are two condition and one is this and another is this and these two are separated by the logical or. As I said in the logical or if both the inputs are false then only output is false otherwise it is true. So here if any one of the condition is true or both the condition is true then it will print star. Okay. Here first we will check whether column is equal to 0. That means that is the condition for to print star here. So this condition will print the stars in the column 0. Now we need to concentrate on this remaining stars. Right. So I will check whether row is equal to 0 or row equal to 6. But at that time column should be greater than 0. Okay. I hope you understood the condition. Next if it is true then I want to print star. So here I will mention star comma end should be equal to empty string okay in the syntax of print end string is also present and the default value of end string is slash n but here in my program after printing one star i want another star in the same line so here i mention end equal to empty string and next i'll go for the else part 
if this condition is not satisfied then what we need to do we need to print space here so i'll take n is equal to space this is because here here we can say if this place is column one and row one right so here i don't want any star that's why i'm printing space here here also we are printing space here also here also okay and next inside the first for loop i'll use print statement this is because after one row i want to go to the next line uh, that is uh, after printing this row we want this star in the next line right that's why we are using print statement here so now we are done with our code so i'll save this and run this and here we can see alphabetical c and if you want more convincing c then you can include more conditions and here if we remove this star and this star now it looks more convincing right so if you want this type of c then you need to include more condition here that is here in the column zero we need to check row should not be zero and row should not be six so that's why here i'll mention when column is equal to equal to zero i'll see here row should not be equal to zero and row should not be equal to six right and remaining conditions are same now i'll save this and run this and here we can see the output okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care